In this video, I'm going to talk about the Nikol ZFC and I'm going to run through some specs and features. So the ZFC is a mirrorless camera with an APS-C sensor. It's got a really retro style look. It kind of looks like a Nikon film camera. It has 20.9 megapixels and shoots photos up to 11 frames per second. So it should be more than capable of capturing the action when you need it. It shoots 4K video up to 30 FPS and shoots 1080p up to 120 FPS, which means that you've got that option to shoot in slow motion if you want it. It can also shoot 4K time-lapse sequences in camera. So you don't have to shoot various photos and then take them into something like Lightroom or Photoshop and then turn them into a time-lapse sequence after that. So you can also stream with it, but you would need to download the Nikon webcam utility, which is also free to download. So Nikon recommend a couple of lenses with this camera because they sell it in um, two kits. So one of them is with the 28 millimeter f2.8, which is what I've got on it at the moment. And this one, is really good if you want to shoot b-roll and you want to get nice depth of field it's not the widest lens but you know you will get that depth of field it's on an APS-C sensor so the equivalent focal length is about 42 millimeters the other is a 16 to 50 millimeter f 3.5 to 6.3 and that one is best suited for actually if you want to vlog you won't be able to vlog with this um, lens it's far too wide so the 16 to 50 is going to be better for that what stands out the most about this camera is the top dials. It's got these control dials on the top which allow you to control your aperture, not your aperture, your ISO, shutter speed and exposure compensation. But there is a top display that does show your aperture, you just can't control your aperture with, it, with any of the top dials. It's also got a high resolution round EVF, which is enabled when you look through it. And so when you move away from the EVF, then it will just revert back to the display. And if you vlog or you talk to the camera or take selfies, you'll be happy to know that there is a vary angle screen. So unlike the Z50 where the screen flips down, this screen flips outwards, which is really useful and you can rotate it as well. Now, if you were looking to shoot with a log profile, it sadly doesn't have one, but it does have 20 in-camera creative profiles, which work for both video and photo. In terms of focus points, it has 209 of them and it has eye detection autofocus. So if you're focusing on an animal or a human, it will lock onto the eyes and the autofocus is pretty good. It's pretty snappy. So if you leave the frame and you come back in, it's pretty good at picking up that face and picking up the eyes to focus on you again. Unfortunately, there isn't any in-camera stabilization, which is a little bit of a shame, but if you were to get the 16 to 50 millimeter, then it does have optical stabilization. The 28 millimeter doesn't have VR, so that's a little bit disappointing. So if you are gonna use it for B-roll, you're better off using it on a gimbal, which is something that I did whilst I was going out and getting my B-roll shots with it anyway. So if you want to just pick it up and get some footage or some photos, it is a great camera for just shooting in auto. You don't have to shoot in manual. Obviously shooting in manual is going to give you a lot more control over everything. Um, but if you just want something to pick up, put it into auto and know that you're going to get some decent footage, then this is a great camera. Similarly, if you're shooting with photos, then having those top dials is really useful when you just quickly want to choose, change between your ISO and your shutter speed. So awesome feature. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking out the video. If you liked it and you found it useful, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I've got more videos coming out with the ZFC. Thanks for watching this one. I'll catch you next time.